All right, we are, I am going to go over how to use the accounting equation, uh, how to uh, chat with it via text. Um, you'll be using this for SL1, 2, 3, and 4. Before we begin, I just want to go over the different ways in which you could get instructions beyond this video. The first is uh, once you are um, in Second Life, you can always uh, scroll uh, or click on this pink button you'll see it says how to when that happens two things will happen um, one you'll get this link that says go to page that's going to open up this browser and that will give you the instructions step by step for how to talk with the model let me go ahead and close that out the other thing that will happen is you'll receive a note card so if you say keep you can see the information on this note card which also tells you um, step by step how to work with the model. Um, so those are uh, two things you could do. Uh, most of the models, I think all of them, will have an information cube uh, next to them uh, and if you click that information cube you'll see right here uh, that uh, whoops that's the wrong information cube let me go ahead and uh, stop that. Um, but anyway, um, you'll see an information cube. Click it, and uh, I'll and it will provide you instructions via chat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, start uh, showing you how to do it um, myself. The first thing you'll need to do, if it's not open, is click this icon here to uh, open up your local chat window. Uh, the thing to understand when chatting with this model is that there are three parts. Of course, the accounting equation assets, liabilities, and equity, and they're each basically listening to a different channel or a different channel number. So the key to talking with this model is to understand the channel numbers. Uh, and to, um, to talk or chat with the model uh, using a channel number, you have to start with the forward slash. Then the next thing to understand is what, what channel numbers uh, are being listened for. Uh, the assets, which are blue, are listening for channel 100. The liabilities, which are red, are listening for channel 200. And the equity, uh, which is green, is listening, is listening uh, to channel 300. So I'm going to start with our assets. And in most instances, when you work with this model, everything's going to be starting at zero. So I'm going to begin by increasing the assets. You could do that by typing in DR, capital DR, capital DR, um, or, or DB. I always just use um, DR. So I'm going to go ahead and increase it by $2,000, and you'll see it increases. You'll see the chat feedback um, explaining to you what happened, and you'll see the accounting equation also increases. So just to um, continue, I'm going to go ahead and uh, increase my uh, equity account by 400 and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, increase my liabilities by 1600. You'll see when I do that the equation is now uh, you can see visually that it's in balance and you can see that the equation is in balance and of course in the chat you can see it's in balance. So um, uh, that's how you talk and interact with the accounting equation. The last thing to understand is that if you want to reset the equation, just touch it or click on it and everything will be reset to zero.